welcome back. And of course, we are live in Grace and New Kitchen for another wonderful recipe with Sharon and Trudy. Guys, yes. what are we cooking up for today? Well, another easy recipe. Of course, it's always easy we, once we're in the Grace Kitchen. That's right. We're trying to make people find life pretty easy and mm -hmm. um, at the same time using stuff that you have right in your, um, your kitchen. Okay. What we're going to be doing today is spaghetti with Grace Picante, which mm -hmm. is the new uh, ketchup. Oh, picante, which it's means it has a bit of a spice. That's right. A a kick. Picante corned beef sauce. Uh -huh. So instead of using ground beef, mm -hmm. we're using corned beef. Mm -hmm. And instead of using a, a tomato sauce, we're using ketchup, Pi the picante. picante. So there we go. <laughs> you notice that I'm saying that, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we heat that up here and we're sure we're going to be showing people how easy and quick. So that's corned beef and what? This is a... Just corn Grace beef corn there. beef, yeah. and okay. that's it. And the reason I, I, I didn't put any oil there, because it has already has its own oil that preserves the, okay. the um. You need to like yeah. push just around a bit. So we get that loosen up. Yeah. And it's pretty easy and simple. What it takes here is some, uh, get the onion in there. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to start mixing that around for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As soon as that's loosened up, we put some um, some of the ketchup, the picante ketchup in there. Picante. Yeah, and that's a can of corned beef, and that's a small onion. And we're going to be using like... Now how spicy is that? It's it's spicy, but not as uh, spicy. Not enough to be hot. Okay. No, it's not <laughs> extra. That, that, that it's hot. not really okay. hot. What happened is that um, a lot of customers were asking about uh, hot ketchup in the mm -hmm. squeeze bottle because we only carried hot in the glass presentation. Okay. And so, of course, we always listen to our consumers and try our best to fulfill whatever they're mm -hmm. requesting. About a half a bottle. So, um, okay. so we brought out the and, and instead of naming it hot. We didn't want to confuse it. Are you are you using the hot in the plastic or the hot in the glass? Okay, so we decided picante. we're going to do picante. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, most everyone understands what picante means. Yes. Um, so <laughs> we decided to do picante for the plastic presentation. Add some garlic. Okay. Now this already looks like a sauce after you added the picante. There you go. That's bay leaf. I got a couple. We add a little bit of water so that we have a good consistency. Yeah, there we go. So we can put it over the... We're going to be adding some Parmesan cheese to mm. this and we'll save some for the top. Okay. The topping. Well, Marlene loved that. Yes. <laughs> and this is like a, a, one of the three ounces. The three ounce Parmesan. So you use like half in there and half for... Um, you can be as generous as you want. <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, that looks. I can really leave this alone now. Beautiful. And basically, it, it's done. It's it's done. And yeah. but you have to keep stirring it. By the way, I mean, if you stop stirring it, you need to turn the stove off. It's gonna bubble up. So yeah. we just get the onion nice and crunchy. You can go just on. check it here that the onion is um, not overcooked. Mm -hmm. And voila. And our sauce is ready. Our corned beef picante sauce. And pretty easy. Pretty. That was like. In Two no minutes. time. Yeah. So while she does her drink, I will get the spaghetti and we get the um, get it all going. So go ahead, Trudy. <laughs> all right. So Trudy, what are you making for us to drink? Okay. Well, <laughs> September celebrations. Um, the weekend's kind of hot right now. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I'm doing a cooler. So it's a coconut cooler. We have the Grace coconut water. Mm -hmm. If you notice, our can is now much more beautiful yeah you know so this is our new can for the bright and coconut. colorful yeah bright and colorful so what i have here is some ice basically what you can do marlene is put half of that in yeah. half of the coconut water in there and remember coconut water is a very cooling drink it's very refreshing um yes, and it's it's very natural all the lesions love their coconut water <laughs> I know so, William must be salivating. He loves coconut water. <laughs> we'll send the rest yeah. for him. <laughs> so it's very simple, Marlene, because all we're going to do is basically blend this up a bit and have it get slushy. Okay. And then we're going to add some syrup to it. So we're going to blend it on high for just a few minutes. <laughs> Thank you. 
There you go. And um, can I borrow a spoon, Mr. Lip, please? Cause sure. Can. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. turn this way. <laughs> and if you notice, this has the pulp in there. Yeah. And let's pour out the rest in here. I guess this is William's glass. He gets less. <laughs> So it already has the pulp, or what people call the meat of the coconut mm -hmm. in and there. And I'm sure you can throw in more if you have fresh coconut. <laughs> <laughs> I love coconut too, so. And then all we're going to do basically is just add some of the syrup. We have this, the one I'm using today is cherry, because mm -hmm. we're going to top it off with the, the cherries. Mm -hmm. And this is, and like I said, a very drink. cool drink. So it's the coconut cooler. We're just going to put some cherry, one cherry there. One cherry there, and you can. That one can get two since they have less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, Marlene, you can feel like you're on the beach relaxing, or oh, if no, you're just that sounds like a great idea. No. <laughs> it's almost like a like a mini snow cone if you look at it. Yes, though. it yeah. is. So mm -hmm. it should be so very one more thing for the celebration. I know I usually wait to sample, but this is good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what what I have here, what I Ooh. did was top it off with um, some more cheese and a little bit of parsley. And we have a meal. The, the spaghetti, basically what I did with the spaghetti is uh, I boil it with um, some grazed vegetable oil mm -hmm. and uh, some of the consomme, the, the malheur consomme. consomme. Okay. So that the, the, the flavor is in there. There's flavor in the, in the pasta as well. Yeah. And also, Miss Gillette, maybe you want to mention to all of our viewers, why is it that you put the grazed vegetable oil in the pasta? Oh, yeah. That's so, you know, uh, we're dealing with spa spaghetti is uh, flour. So mm -hmm. it would tends to stick together okay. and the oil helps to keep it loose. So okay. basically that's why you use the oil. Oh, nice. So we have and a corned beef picante. Uh, what is it? Corned beef picante sauce? Yes. Corned beef yes. sauce. Okay. Yeah. On pasta, and we have yeah. our coconut cooler. Right. Pretty oh. quick, easy, and these are things you keep in your kitchen, so Excellent. can't go wrong. And we did it in no time. Now, okay. Trudy Expo's coming up. What can of we expect course. at Grace's booth this weekend? Well, this weekend, you can expect we're going to have a Plinko game. You know, normally you try the Plinko game. Oops, sorry, try again. For mm -hmm. our Plinko game, you have to win. It's a must win for the Plinko game. To get into the Plinko game, for every $25 purchase, you get a chance to play the game. So it's not like, oh, I spend $50, I only get one chance. Mm -hmm. You get two chances. Plus, you get a chance to win a 150-quart igloo. Again, for the celebrations, yeah. you know, you can be out September 21st with your igloo filled with Grace products. So we're going to offer you the coconut water for you to make your drink. Wow. Also some use, some Mahler consomme and some corned beef, the picante ketchup. You <laughs> can make else your meal. Has to offer. You can make your meal. <laughs> so that's what we're offering at the expo. Apart from fabulous prices, of course, because we made sure we checked okay. all of the local retailers to make sure our prices are better than that. So Excellent. thanks very much, Marlene. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for two brand new recipes. It's been fun as usual, and we hope people try them at home. Yes, right? of course. All right, that's it for me here. I'm going to go ahead and take a next break, and then I'm going to join William in studios. We'll be back in a few.